The Lakes Area community got an up-close look at Minnesota Raptors in Brainerd this past weekend. In this week's Northwoods Adventure, Shane Lee spends time with feathered friends at the Northland Arboretum's Family Education Day. The Raptors Center provided some special guests for people to see in Brainerd Saturday. As the 300 human visitors observed the beautiful birds, the raptors returned the fearless gaze. She's helping, she's looking at you anyway, no matter where I put her. The Raptor Center heals injured birds and returns them to the wild when able. The stars of the educational show cannot survive in the wild for various reasons. Most of what we're um, taking in with the birds are human-caused injuries, um, car collisions, power lines. The program featured a peregrine falcon, a red-tailed hawk, a bald eagle, and a great horned owl. One of the most commonly known and slightly exaggerated characteristics of the owl is how far around it can rotate its head. Now it can rotate three quarters of the way around and that's very important because it cannot actually rotate the eyeballs in its eye sockets. I like how they look and I like how big their eyes are. The owl in Saturday's program cannot survive in the wild because it was raised by humans. The problem is common because owls frequently fall from the nest. They are fully grown before they leave the nest and so they um, sometimes will tend to kind of bully each other and you know we're all in here get out of my way and sometimes they'll fall down. The best thing to do with a fallen bird is to put it back in the nest or call the raptor center. Ooh. We can actually put them in a foster nest because mom and dad can't count. Um, they, they'll just oh you must have been here yesterday I'll just feed you now too. The bald eagle appeared to be the crowd favorite on Saturday. At the very least our Breedom executive director Mary Corrigan could not resist the opportunity for a close-up. I was a little nervous. I have never been next to a bird that large before. That eagle was thinking, who in the world is that next to me? <laughs> I know Allison, but I don't know Mary. The eagle stays at the Raptor Center because its wing failed to heal properly after crashing into a power line. The incident may have actually saved the eagle, who also had lead poisoning. With the lead in her blood, she might not have been found and ended up having nervous system problems and starving to death. The falcon has not fully recovered from being shot. The Raptor Center does not know if it was an accident or on purpose. The red-tailed hawk is the only bird in the show injured by natural causes. The hawk obtained West Nile virus, which led to blindness in one eye. She wasn't able to hunt anymore, and so then she was starving. Although the Raptor Center cannot release the show birds, they are at least alive. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.